Hey everyone and welcome to my first official bump date video. I'm hopefully going to be doing these like either once a week or every other week whenever I have time during the week to do a video like this so I can update you guys on how I'm feeling and just things that are relating to my pregnancy in general. Let's do a pick one. <laughs> Some of the best moments from this week are just having my nausea go down um, quite a bit. I still get it probably like a little bit every day and definitely at night. If I get past like 9 o'clock then I'm, I get nauseous and it's like I have to go to bed or else I freak out. So best moments are the moments that I'm not nauseous <laughs> pretty much. Good circle! Whoa, good G. <laughs> Some of the weirdest moments I've been having are just like having my body changing. Sorry if that's weird, but like my pelvic area starting to get kind of tight. Um, my clothes are starting to get tighter. For my other pregnancies, this happened way later in the pregnancy. I am, uh, I think I'm 14 weeks right now. I don't even know anymore. Like, pretty sure I'm 14 weeks. I didn't start showing until I was probably like in the 20s for both of these pregnancies. I would always like pretend that I was showing, but I really wasn't. <laughs> As of right now, I'm starting to show a little bit. No one obviously can tell except for me and Zach, but yeah, it's happening guys. The clothes are tightening and it's on um, for another like six months. <laughs> for gender ideas, I, I want to say that I think it's a boy. Mostly because that's kind of what we're hoping for. We'll obviously, we'll take either one. Porter is like really excited to have a boy. So I'm kind of hoping it is just for his sake because that's what he wants. I, I kind of think it might be a boy because I've been so sick and I was more sick with Porter than with Piper. Like that's how I remember it, but maybe I have the worst memory, guys. Like a really bad memory. So you can't take my word for it. And if you can't take my word for it about my own pregnancies, I don't know who else you can go to. So I think it might be a boy. Not sure, but we should be finding out within either this week or or my next appointment we'll find out if it's a boy or a girl. So fingers crossed that it's either of those. Can you see that? Yeah. Is that cool? Food cravings this week have been um, kind of weird. I did have some more pickles. Ooh, that makes me want one right now. <laughs> so good. So yes, pickles are in the running, but I can't eat too many of them or they really make me sick. The thing with my food cravings is that it's always the aftertaste that really makes me like feel gross afterwards. So the hard part is I want to keep eating because I'm always hungry. Like given I'm always hungry, ready to eat, but I know if it has a bad aftertaste, I don't want it. So it's like this tug of war between being hungry, having cravings, but not wanting to have anything like lingering after I eat. It's a, it's a battle with my, my mouth and my tummy like all day long. There are a lot of things I'm excited for and they're not exactly all to do with my pregnancy, but we are moving next week, guys. It's happening. I'm packing up the house. We got, we have people working on our house all day today, fixing up all the things that the inspector needed us to fix. Biggest pain of my life. I'm excited to be in Utah where it's not 110 degrees every day. I did look and today it was in the hundreds, like the high was 100. So, you know, but it's still, it's not the same. It's not the same as 115. Anyway, I'm just excited for everything, everything that has to do with pregnancy. I'm not like in the uncomfortable phase yet. I'm just getting out of the nausea phase. And so it's a good time right now, people. This is the, the pleasant mode of pregnancy that even though there's this and that that are annoying, it's really not that bad of a phase right at the beginning of my third, ugh, I always say that, my second trimester. So holla at second trimester, baby. I know there are a lot of babies due in January, like friends of mine, December, January, baby due dates. We're in this together, people, we can do it. Anyway, wish us luck with our move. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be hot, but it's gonna be worth it. Really excited for that. That's all for today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.